Welcome into the Alabama Football Report. I am your host today, Chris Daughtry. And before we get into today's video, I just want to wish everybody a happy Memorial Day and thank everybody who has served to protect this country, everybody who has paid the ultimate price, especially to make sure that we can just, you know, do what we do here in the United States. I'm just a guy on YouTube uh, talking about Alabama, talking about football, and none of that would be possible without everybody who has served in the United States military. We appreciate that from everybody out there. And if you support the United States military as well, spam USA in the comments. Let's, let's run it up, get a bunch of those USAs in there for a happy Memorial Day. On today's show, we're going to be breaking down the nine quarterbacks that Alabama has offered in the 2025 recruiting class. Now, this list does come from the list on um, on three. If you go to, you know, out, if you're trying to find Alabama's 2025 recruiting class, you go up there and change the commits. You change that section to offers, and it brings up, you know, the offers that Alabama has out there. On three has nine offers so far at the quarterback position for Alabama. So we're going to break down those guys today because Alabama doesn't have a quarterback yet committed in this 2025 class. The quarterbacks that we have on the roster so far, only three right now had a couple notable transfers. Jalen Milrow, Ty Simpson, Dylan Lonergan, um, Austin Mack transferred over with Kalen Abor from Washington. And you'll also remember Eli Holstein, transferred out. He went to Pitt, and seems like he's going to be doing pretty good there. Had a pretty decent spring game for them. And Julian Sand also, he was committed in that 2024 class. To, ended up, came to campus. He was on campus. Then after Nick Saban retired, he ended up transferring to Ohio State. The first quarterback on our list today is Bryce Underwood. Now, I will also say all but one of these quarterbacks are already committed to another school. But, you know, Alabama has a history of flipping folks, so hopefully they can get one of these quarterbacks to flip. Bryce Underwood, a five-star recruit in the 2025 class, number one overall player per the 247 Sports Composite Rankings, the number one overall quarterback and the number one player from the state of Michigan. Now, he has only taken two visits to Alabama so far, one back in December of 2023 as well as in June of 2023, and I think it's pretty notable as well. He's taken 11 visits to Michigan, but like I said, he is from the state of Michigan, and I Google mapped it from his um, town, Belleville. Um, it's only about a 30-minute drive, so it's a pretty easy visit for him to go up to Michigan opposed to going all the way down to Louisiana to uh, Baton Rouge to visit the folks down at LSU. Julian Lewis, a very notable name that I know a lot of people remember. We've talked about him a lot. Seemingly very interested in Alabama early on. He's a five-star recruit, number nine overall player in the 2025 class. The number two overall quarterback and the number three player from the state of Georgia from Carleton High School, and he's got a lot of visits that he's already taken. Like I said, he was, or he is in the state of Georgia. He's taken 14 visits to see the Bulldogs, 10 visits to Alabama. Um, now, he was supposed to take an official visit on May 31st to Georgia. That has since been canceled, and he's taking a visit to Indiana on that weekend instead, and he's taken two visits to Alabama since Kalen DeBoer was hired as the Alabama new head coach. Both of those visits happened in March. He will also be taking an official visit to Auburn on June 14th. USC, obviously that is where he's committed currently on June 7th. Uh, Indiana on May 31st, like I said, and Colorado on June 21st. Now Alabama does not yet have a quarterback commit in the 2025 class. So name a quarterback that you think will, Alabama can get to commit. Be that first quarterback in the 2025 class. I don't know if they're going to take one or two. Only got four on the roster currently so far. So I'd like to hopefully maybe they take two. But who do you think will be that first quarterback uh, to commit 
in Alabama's 2025 class. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So if that ad comes here on YouTube, that's fine. Ignore it. Take advantage of it. Go down there and let me know at the pinned comment. Tavian St. Clair, a commit to Ohio State, is the next quarterback in our rankings here or on our list here. A five-star recruit in the 2025 class, number 16 player overall, the number three quarterback in this class, and the number one player from the state of Ohio. He's taken 13 visits so far to Ohio State, so I think he's probably pretty solid there, and it doesn't seem like Alabama is – really in the race for him at all he hasn't taken a visit to Alabama but they do have an offer out for him and there is a long way away to um, the early signing period you know there's not necessarily a lot of guys on this list who Alabama is 100% going after like yes they are they are offered but Alabama is not necessarily trying as hard as they could be to go after those guys there's a, lot, there's a whole year as well of, you know, these guys seeing Alabama play, what Kalen Abor is, is going to be bringing to the offensive side of the ball. So a lot of time for minds to be changed. George McIntyre, a Tennessee commit, next quarterback on this list. He's a five-star recruit, number 20 player overall, and the number four quarterback from this uh, um 2025 class, and their number one player from the state of Tennessee coming out of Brentwood Academy down there in Nashville. And he has taken a few visits to Alabama so far, six in total, but none since Kalen DeBoer was hired at Alabama. He's taken five visits to Tennessee. Like we said, he's already committed there. Uh, four visits to LSU, a couple visits to Vanderbilt, as well as Michigan and Clemson as well. Another quarterback here, Deuce Knight, another quarterback that we have talked about a lot. A lot of these guys like that, a lot of the discussion was happening pre-Nick Saban retirement, but he was one that was very interested in Alabama as well as them and him. He is a Notre Dame commit currently. He's a four-star recruit in 2025 class, number 45 overall, and the number six quarterback in the class, as well as the number three player from the state of Mississippi. So at least he's one of those players that's down in the in the southeast that Alabama, you know, it's easier for him to possibly make an unofficial or even an official visit, you know, just being close. He's got eight visits so far to Notre Dame where he is committed, seven visits to Ole Miss, four visits to, to Tennessee, and he has one visit only to Alabama, and that was June 10th of last year in 2023. Now, Steve Wiltfong of On3 said Alabama and Ole Miss are very much still in the conversation with Deuce Knight, but he went on to say Ole Miss, somebody's texting him and calling him every single day, and then there was no mention of anything Alabama texting or calling him every single day, which doesn't necessarily mean that that's not happening, but I think it's notable considering it, it wasn't in the article at all. Make sure you guys go check out. NFL jerseys are on sale now at Fanatics. Go to chatsports.com slash NFL jerseys. They've got all the recent Alabama 2025 NFL draftees, Kool-Aid McKinstry, Tyrion Arnold, J.C. Latham, you name it. They've got all the guys. Dallas Turner as well. One more time, that is chatsports.com slash NFL jerseys. The link will be in the comments and in the description of today's show. So go check that out if you want some of those Alabama alumni is now on to the NFL at chatsports.com slash NFL jerseys. A big name for Alabama right here, SMU commit currently, Keelan Russell. He's a four-star recruit in the 2025 class. Number 79 overall, the number nine quarterback and the number 14 player from the state of Texas. Now, Alabama is absolutely in on this guy. Um, currently, pretty much the number one quarterback they're going off or, or after currently. Alabama sent him a video a couple of days ago. Um, it, it, they've been sending all these, all the uh, official visit guys 
like custom videos, and the one that they sent him had Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar playing kind of a dig, I would say, at SMU, saying they're not like us. Um, and Alabama seemingly in it for him. Um, he's still talking to other schools as well, like Alabama, Baylor, Florida, Texas, and he does have some official visits scheduled as well. Like I said, he's an SMU commit. He's taken five visits there so far, also in the state of Texas, so a little bit easier for him to, to get down there. Old Miss, he's taken two visits. He's got a second visit scheduled for Florida, this one being an official visit on June 7th. Alabama, he's got an official visit coming up this weekend, May 31st, so keep an eye out on that. We'll see if Alabama can get him to flip. He's also taken one visit to TCU and one visit to Texas as well. Now, Steve Wiltfong of On3, this is what he wrote about Keelan Russell and Alabama going after him um, as one of their top quarterback prospects. He said, he is Alabama's guy right now in the 2025 class at the position. There was a time where I think they would have taken Julian Lewis if circumstances were right for the five-star USC commit, but Alabama has locked in on Keelan Russell. He is their number one quarterback on their board. And it sounds like there's some mutual feelings going on into this official visit. They love what this staff did with Michael Penix Jr. at Washington. And offensive coordinator Nick Sheridan is leading the charge for Alabama on that recruiting trail there. So what is the percent chance that you think Alabama can get Keelan Russell to flip from S um, SMU? He's been committed there for a little while now, but I do think Alabama has a very, very high chance of getting this guy to flip. It's just about getting him on campus, seeing the, seeing the facilities and talking to Kalen DeBoer and you know, seeing kind of how he fits into the offense, you know, pretty much all the recruits so far who have committed specifically to Kalen DeBoer have loved just how personable he is as, as a person, not just as a coach or as some guy trying to recruit him, but as a person. So let me know in the comments right now, what is the percent chance you think Alabama can flip Keelan Russell from SMU? Another guy that we know a lot about of, uh, KJ Lacey, he is committed to Texas currently right now, but man, Alabama was in the hunt for him before Nick Saban retired. He is a four-star recruit, number 88 overall, number 10 quarterback in the 2025 class, number eight player from the state of Alabama from down there in Mobile, Sarah Land High School, and of note, he was Ryan Williams' quarterback in high school. And both of them were supposed to be in the same class before Ryan Williams ended up uh, reclassifying to the 2024 class. Now, he has taken a lot of visits so far to Alabama. He's taken seven visits so far, but the only visit, official visit he has scheduled right now is to go back to Texas on June 21st. I think Alabama still has a shot. Um, Texas, obviously, right now, kind of just running the game when it comes to NIL. So, so you know, that's going to be a factor, most likely, in his recruitment. Now, Lacey has not taken a visit since DeBoer was, hi DeBoer was hired. The last visit he has taken to Alabama was September 9th of 2023. So, man, if we could get him back on campus again, get him talking more in person to this coaching staff, I really think Alabama has a shot to you know, at least be in the conversation of getting Lacey to flip to the Crimson Tide. Antoine Hill is the only quarterback on our list today who is not committed to anybody yet. He's a four-star recruit, number 127 overall, the number 12 quarterback in this class, and the number 18 player from the state of Georgia from Houston County High School. He's got three official visits coming up so far. In the near future, he's going down to Florida on May 31st, Memphis on June 7th, and it kind of seems like Memphis is kind of making a little bit of a push for him, and Texas A&M also on June 14th. Now, he has taken four trips to Alabama, but like I've said for a few guys so far, he has not taken one since Kalen DeBoer was hired at Alabama the last time he was on campus in Tuscaloosa was June of 2023. 
The last quarterback on our list today is Bear Bachmeyer. I believe is how you pronounce his name. He's a Stanford commit, four-star recruit, 258 overall, number 20 quarterback in this class, and the number 25 player from the state of California. So, you know, pretty highly ranked from, from a state that has a ton of ton of talent and a ton of high-end talent as well. I know he's, you know, 247 composite rankings has him as 20 overall or 20th quarterback in this class, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, he's bad or something like that. He has taken five unofficial visits so far, just in total. He's only taken five visits, one to Notre Dame in September of 2023, one to Stanford, in which he is committed. Last time he was on campus at Stanford was April of 2023, which is a little wild to me that a quarterback commit hasn't been on campus for over a year now. It's pretty nuts, in my opinion. Um, Oregon, he took a visit there July of 2023. Louisiana Tech, probably not realistic there, but he was there August of 2023, and the last time he took a visit to Alabama was in June of last year as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed right here to the Alabama Football Report. May 31st through June 2nd, this coming weekend, is a massive weekend for Alabama. It's their first round of official visits. So coming up later in the week, we will have a video breaking down all the guys coming in for the official visit weekend. So make sure you are subscribed right here to youtube.com slash at Roll Tide TV.